my name is Shannon Costello. I am a registered dietitian nutritionist and owner of Chef Shannon Nutrition, where we make eating plant-based easy all the way from the grocery store to the kitchen table. So today's recipe of roasted tahini cauliflower actually is inspired by one of my favorite plant-based friendly restaurants here in town, and we constantly order it as an appetizer. So it just made sense to recreate this at home and add a little bit of our own flair. So a few things that you'll want to get ready in your kitchen is having an air fryer. Now this is the preferred method in my kitchen just for best texture, but you can also use the oven method in which case you'll also need a baking sheet. Then you'll also need a large mixing bowl and spoon for stirring. And to make the dressing, I like to use this single small blender, but if you don't have one of these, then you can also use a small sealable jar like this mason jar. And then if you plan to serve this at a party as an appetizer, get out some fun serving dishes. Okay, so let's quickly look at our goodies. We'll be using a medium head of cauliflower. You can also buy bagged cauliflower florets. I just prefer purchasing the full head because one, you're most likely gonna get more out of it and two, less plastic, more sustainable. So cauliflower is considered a cruciferous vegetable along with broccoli, cabbage, bok choy, and many others. And these veggies have anti-inflammatory properties. So they're known to reduce risk of many diseases, including heart disease and cancer. It's full of vitamin C, folate, vitamin K, potassium, calcium, and many other vitamins and minerals. So voila, the star of the show cauliflower. Now to roast the cauliflower, we are going to use one tablespoon of olive oil. You could also use avocado oil. We will be using two teaspoons of dried dill and some salt and pepper to taste. So just a pinch or two of that to help round out the flavor. The best part about making your favorite restaurant dishes at home is that you control the ingredients. So I'm choosing to use a high quality extra virgin olive oil and to limit the added salt. Next, we'll be using a quarter cup roasted and unsalted cashew pieces. I actually just roasted some raw cashews at home. I put these in the toaster oven for probably too much time as you can see, but it was only like four minutes before they were nice and toasty like that. And then we will need two to three tablespoons of raisins, depending on how sweet you want the dish. And we will be garnishing at the end with five to six fresh mint leaves. Lastly, for our simple tahini dressing, you will need a quarter cup of tahini. If you're not familiar with tahini, it's basically just roasted and pureed sesame seeds. So kind of like peanut butter, but made from sesame seeds. It's really uh, satisfying. It's used in a lot of uh, different cuisines. We'll need one small lemon or about three tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. Then we're gonna use two garlic cloves that we will mince, about one teaspoon of maple syrup, just a little bit of sweetness there. We'll also add a pinch of salt. And I also like to add some ground cumin in here. So just a couple dashes of this, that's optional though. And then we'll also have some water just to help thin out the dressing. I like mine a little thicker, but if you want to make a larger batch of this as multi-purpose, so if you wanna use it on a, another type of salad, then I would try to thin it out so it's more like a dressing consistency. Okay, so first things first, we do wanna chop our head of cauliflower into bite-sized florets about one to two inches based on your preference, but we want them to be consistent. So whatever size you choose, make sure that they are fairly even so that they cook evenly. Now I started by chopping my entire head of cauliflower in half and then removing the stems and then I quartered it to make it a little easier. And then from there, as you can see, you can kind of pull apart some of these florets and then we'll slice them into appropriate sizes from there. And as you're chopping, you can just add the sized florets right into your mixing bowl. Okay, so we have all of our consistent sized florets in our mixing bowl. So we're gonna add our olive oil and our seasoning. So this is two teaspoons of dried dill and some salt and pepper to taste. Just gonna give that a good stir. Make sure it 
it is coated with that olive oil nicely. Now, depending on the size of your cauliflower, maybe you want with a small head, maybe you want with a medium, you can always add more or less olive oil. Plus, we're using the air fryer, so it doesn't really need a whole lot of olive oil. Now, if you're using the oven method, then you'll want to make sure these are well coated with that olive oil. And so just go ahead and transfer this into your air fryer basket or onto your baking sheet. If you're using the air fryer, all baskets are a little different. So mine is pretty deep versus some that might be shallow and wide. Okay. So if I have multiple layers of cauliflower, it might take a few more minutes to get them roasted. I'll also want to check on them periodically and give it a good shake so that they're tossed around somewhere on the bottom, somewhere on the top. So for my particular air fryer, I'm going to set it to 375 degrees Fahrenheit and I'm going to start with 10 minutes on the timer. Again, I'm going to check it at about five minutes, give it a good toss, and then keep checking about every two to three minutes. The center should be soft and the edges should be lightly brown. Now, if you're using the oven, go ahead and set the oven to 425 degrees Fahrenheit and bake for five to 10 minutes, again, checking them about halfway through, tossing them around if needed. Okay, so while the cauliflower is cooking, as you can hear in the background, we're gonna make our tahini dressing. So I'm just gonna use this small blender. It's a lot easier, a lot faster, and I can make sure that everything is nice and smooth. Um, so we're just gonna add everything to the blender except for our water. After I get it started blending, I'm gonna add about one to two tablespoons of water at a time, blend again, and check on the consistency. Like I mentioned, you can make it thick or a little smoother and lighter for multi-purpose events, okay? Okay, so this is after blending and I did add you know, several tablespoons of water to help thin this out. And you can see the consistency that I prefer. Now, again, if you don't have this blender, then you can easily just add everything to a sealable jar and just shake it really, really fast. Same thing, adding water here and there, continuing to shake. Oh my gosh, this cauliflower smells great. I love the smell of dill. So I've transferred it back into our mixing bowl. So we'll go ahead and add our raisins and our cashew pieces. And then we will add our lovely tahini dressing. Now, if you don't wanna use all of it, that's fine. I'm actually just gonna start with that much and give it a good stir. Yes, and this is awesome as an appetizer, as a side dish, as a little snack. You've got the cauliflower as your vegetable. You've got your raisins as a dried fruit, which is great for iron. You've got your cashews, which is a little extra protein and some nice unsaturated fats. And then we've got our fresh mint as a garnish. Now mint, as well as other fresh herbs, are really fragile. So to trap mint, we want to avoid it bruising, which is why we are just going to tear it into two to three pieces instead of getting that bruise, which will turn this mint kind of bitter, okay? So we'll just easily toss that in and that will be our finishing touch. And voila, my chef friends, a wonderful roasted tahini, cauliflower, side dish appetizer and snack. I hope you enjoy. You'll find me over here not sharing this with anyone, but be sure to like, share, and comment below if you enjoyed this recipe video. And check out my blog for more details on this recipe and others. Buon appetito!